Hi everyone and welcome to iCard. So to start off this look, I am first going to prime my face. And the primer that I'm gonna use is this L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer. The reason why I'm using this is because not only will it prime my skin, but it'll also give me a nice glow as well because Kendall is all about makeup, which looks like very natural, but her skin, but better. So we're gonna go for that kind of very natural looking makeup. I'm just putting this all over my face. So moving straight onto foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Weightless Stay All Day Foundation. It has a very, very long name, but it will be listed in the info box below. And I'm using this in the shade Santa Fe. And I'm going to put just one pump of this on the whole of my face, because this is very full coverage, but you only need the tiniest bit and it looks like your skin, but better. And because we've got the primer underneath, it's going to give us a really nice glow. As you can see, a little bit of this goes a very, very, very long way. So now that our base is all complete, we're gonna go in and bronze. So the bronzer that I'm gonna use is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And this is a really gorgeous shade, which can be worn all year round. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start bronzing my face up in the usual areas. So I like to always take it on my forehead. So where my hairline is. And this is gonna just give us a really nice glow to the skin and make our skin look really nice and healthy and not all one color. Also taking this down my jawline as well. So now I'm just gonna set the other areas where we haven't applied any bronzer. So for that, I'm gonna be using the MAC Blot Powder and I'm gonna use the slightest amount just to set all the other areas in place. And this is just gonna help our makeup last a lot longer. So now that all of our powder is done, I'm just gonna add the slightest bit of this Bourjois Cream Blusher on top. And this is in the shade Nude Velvet, because Kendall doesn't wear that much blusher, especially really like colorful blushes. So this is just gonna give us a really nice natural glow to the skin as well. So now that our cheeks and our base is all complete, we're gonna move on to eyes. And as always, the first thing I'm gonna do is fill in my brows. So for that, I'm gonna be using this Liz Earl brow pencil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling my brows in with a very, very light strokes. Now we're gonna add the slightest bit of color onto our eyelids, and the palette that I'm gonna be using is this Clarins palette here. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is the third shade in, and I'm just gonna add a swipe of that on to my eyelids. This is just like a very natural looking eye, but it's just gonna make our eyes sparkle ever so slightly in the light. And then right at the end, you wanna make sure both of your eyes are looking as even in color as possible. Next up, I'm gonna add some mascara onto my top and bottom lashes, and I'm gonna be using this NYX Fly With Me Mascara. You guys know how much I love my mascara, so I'm going to add a good, I'm gonna say two layers of this on. And plus, Kendall just looks like she has amazing lashes, skin, brows. So we're gonna try and make it look as similar to hers as possible. I like to make sure right at the end that my eyelashes are looking as fanned out as possible. I'm also gonna add the tiniest bit onto my lower lashes as well. And I like doing this because it just balances the top and bottom lashes out. So just to make my eyelashes look a little bit thicker and fuller at the base, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Colorish eyeliner and I'm just gonna line my upper waterline. Now that the eyes and the base is all complete, we're gonna go straight onto lipstick. And because Kendall doesn't really wear very many bold lips on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm actually gonna go in with this Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Native. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually gonna put this onto my finger first and just blot the color on my lips. So it gives a really kind of like lived in natural lip color. And 
And that's the final look. First, I'm going to start off by using some SPF all over my face. I'm going to be using the Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense. And I always like to take it down my neck as well. For foundation, I want to keep it super, super light. So the one I'm going to be using is this EX1 foundation in the shade F200. Now this is super duper lightweight, so it's perfect to wear for festivals and things because you don't want to feel like you've got loads of product on your skin. So I don't really think people are going to be packing lots of makeup brushes, so I'm going to be using as much of my hands for this look as possible. What I would say is make sure that you've used some antibacterial on your hands before you do apply any makeup. Next up, I'm gonna apply some concealer. So I always like highlighting the under eyes. So I'm gonna do that on both eyes. I'm gonna draw a triangle shape under both of them. And then slightly just fill that in. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna highlight my forehead, my nose, at my chin. I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend this all out. So to prevent my concealer creasing or anything like that, I'm gonna go and set it in place with some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this one is in the shade Medium Plus. Next, I'm gonna fill in my brows and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is totally waterproof, so it's gonna last all day long. It's not gonna budge and it's not gonna go anywhere, even if it does rain. So I like going and carving out the bottom first, then the top, and then filling the brows in. Festivals are all about having fun with your makeup, so I'm actually gonna apply glitter to my eyelids, but before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of primer onto them, just so that it lasts all day long and it doesn't crease or it doesn't budge and doesn't go anywhere. So the eyeshadow base I'm gonna use is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Lemon Drop, and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids so that it's a good base for the glitter to stick onto. So the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be using is this Urban Decay Glittery Eyeshadow, which is called Space Cowboy, and it's such a gorgeous color. So I'm gonna use a flat shader brush to pack this onto my eyelids. As you can see, it's super, super glittery, and it's so nice. Now I'm gonna apply some onto the other eye, and I'm gonna pack this on. And I'm also kind of dragging the brush down the eyelid like this, because it helps the shadow be applied really well, and there's also less fallout on the bottom part of our eyes. But even if there is any fallout on the bottom of our eyes, it just kind of adds to the look. So if you do get fallout, it's not a big deal. You could add eyeliner to this look, but I personally like it without because you can totally see the amazing glittery eyeshadow on your eyelids. So I'm gonna go in with some mascara and it's definitely gonna be a waterproof mascara that I'm gonna be using. So the one that I'm gonna put on is this Volume Million Lashes from L'Oreal. And I am going to layer and layer some of this mascara on because we don't wanna worry about wearing falsies and things like that. We wanna keep it simple. And this waterproof mascara is brilliant. It seriously does not budge. So the eyes are done and now I'm gonna move on to cheeks. I'm gonna be using bronzer slash contour and a bit of highlight because I cannot live without these two products. And the palette that I'm going to be using is the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Highlight Palette. So I'm gonna use the darker shade to just bronze up my face. I always like to start off with my cheeks first and then work around. So what you want to do is you wanna apply this to the cheekbones, to the hollows of your cheekbones. Now for the highlight, I'm just gonna go in with the highlight shade from the same palette and I'm just gonna highlight the tops of my cheekbones and then I'm gonna drag it in to the top parts of my brow bone. Do the same on the other side. 
I know this is quite an expensive product to take to a festival, so I would recommend checking out the Sleek Contour Kits because they are very, very similar to this. I'm just going to add a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and my chin, and keep it spread. I'm going to keep my lips super, super simple because we are going to be at a festival and you don't want to keep having to check to see if your lipstick is still on. So I'm going to be using this Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector. And this is in the shade 03. So I'm just going to put this all over my lips. And it turns out to be a beautiful pinky shade. So now that the makeup is all done, we are going to make this look a little bit more festival-like and we are going to stick some rhinestones and things like that on. So I've got these gems from Claire's Accessories and I'm going to put them on kind of my forehead area. I'm going to first apply this Bindi-like gem on to the middle of my eyebrows. So once that's on, I'm going to use some alternating black and silver dots all above my eyebrows on both sides. So I'm going to start it level with my eyebrows and I'm going to do one on each side at the same time so they're as even as possible. And I'm just going to add two more last black ones. So you just want to make sure that the gems are as even as possible and then you are done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I personally love it because it is super, super fun and I didn't use that many products either, which is perfect for festivals. Did you watch my last video? Because if you didn't, then check that link right there and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all very soon. Bye!